All right, all right. Please, let's welcome in actor Mark Wahlberg. Mark, you're a Boston legend, but you were, you once said, quote, I got a lot of love for Philly. I made five movies in Philly. I am an honorary Philadelphian. Mark, I played in more than a dozen games in Philly, and all they do is curse me and give me the middle finger. What can I do to become an honorary Philadelphian? You? At this stage yeah. of the game, nothing. Actually, you know what? This year, you probably could because I think the Giants are 3-8. and eight. Um, But, no, <laughs> you know, they are so loyal, so diehard. Um, you know, I, I, was, I was named an honorary Philadelphia, but they threw snowballs at Santa Claus, so I don't think that's ever going to happen for you, Eli. That's good. That's a fact. That, going that is a fact. Hey, uh, that was a great off-schedule play by Jalen Hurts right there, Mark and Eli. The Eagles don't want to have too many of those plays where Jalen's having to go out of the pocket. About 20% of the plays, they want him to be out of the pocket right off-schedule. That's the time they want him throwing from in the pocket, getting the ball out on time. Good run right there. Mark, you obviously starred in the 2006 movie Invincible, the true story of Vince Papali. A 30-year-old part-time bartender who tried out for the Eagles in the 70s made the team. My question is, was it an honor to be cast in that role because the producers thought you look like a professional athlete or an insult because the producers thought you look like a 30-year-old part-time bartender? <laughs> well, actually, when I was cast, I think I was almost 40. So I think it was a bit of a comfort, but for me it was an honor, obviously, being, you know, somebody who always aspired to be an athlete, I still train like an athlete, to be able to put on that uniform was an honor. Um, you know, Papali, he just loved the Eagles so much that he was willing to go out there and sacrifice his body to help them win. Hey, right there, one of those quarterback draws, he says, I thought this Spagnola, he said they... They tried, they worked really hard on those quarterback draw, but the Eagles run it well. It's hard to, they got an extra guy. With the quarterback runs, you got an extra blocker in there. You can get the running back out or you can lead block. It's hard to stop it. Yeah, I have no insight or analysis on a quarterback draw. Never ran one, Mark. Never, the offensive coordinator never thought that was a, a uh, smart play with me. I know Eli never ran one as well, so don't have a lot of insight on that. God, I hate timeouts. Who's calling a timeout? Who called that timeout? Steve's called it, Pete. Eli, have I not told you those are not the defense's timeouts? Those are the and offense's timeouts. Call Spags and I tell told him. Spagnola that. I'll be right told back. Him. Stay with us, Mark. Welcome back. Mark, despite your Philly ties, let's be clear, you're a diehard Boston sports fan. My question is, were you aware that tonight's Manning cast appearance was over Zoom and not in person? So you won't be able to curse Eli to his face. You know what? I was just saying earlier, you know, I've always liked Eli because we're both the younger brothers living in our older brother's shadow for some time. But, yes, I mean, that 18-1 that and one season, I mean, that really destroyed us. Um, so I wish, I, you know, but I am still a very much a fan of both of you guys. I think the biggest game of the, week, of the year is next week. Giants versus Patriots. Still hate the Giants to this day just because of Eli. So, you know, uh, you know, eight and two and eight and three, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a dog fight. Yeah, I, I would say I was sorry for that, uh, that 18 and, and 0 season, but, uh, but I'd be lying. So I'm not sorry about it. Mark, I know you, you no attended a few. whatsoever. <laughs> I, I know you attended a few of the Super Bowls that the Patriots played in, but according to my crack research team, you were at neither of the Super Bowls in which the Patriots played my Giants. So do you remember, what do you remember most about watching those games on TV? And, and Mark, it's only the first quarter, so please take your time, give a long, thoughtful answer right here. <laughs> the only good thing about that 18-1 and season is I was shooting a movie in New Zealand. So I was able to shut off my phone and not listen to anybody for a total of four weeks. I mean, it was really, it was a devastating loss. Illegal use of hands. Um, you know, hands it, it, it's, it's still something Defense actually that, that, that gives Five me pits in my stomach when I think Automatic about it. Automatic first down. Good to hear. Mark, Mark, before the Eagles and the Pats met in Super Bowl 52, you said, quote, I think the Patriots win by 17, but if the Eagles win, I'm telling you, I would be fine. If it was anybody else, I would be devastated. My question is, how are you feeling about the likelihood of an Eagles-Patriots Super Bowl rematch this season? 
Uh, well, no, I mean, if, if, if we went out, you know, we still finish nine and eight. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> That's not going to happen. But you know what? I, unlike most people, I know a lot of people take a lot of joy in seeing the Patriots be a terrible team. But I don't mind. I mean, a 20-year run, aside from losing the AFC Championship to you, Peyton, a couple of times, we had a pretty good run. So I think you got to, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Hopefully we'll be back sooner rather than later. Um, but, you know, uh, seeing, seeing the Giants in that same boat, it's a good feeling. I feel good about that. <laughs> you, had, I get it. you had a real good run. You had a great run. No doubt about it. E, uh, here's your second and eight. Uh, you think Spags is going to bring the heat right here? I mean, this could be a double dip, right? You could knock him out of the uh, you know Got potential. Field goal range. What yeah, do you think? I, ex- I expect a little, little, little something. Maybe a little pressure. No, dropping four and four. Ooh, Ooh nice good throw on the hook route. All right, we are officially in the red zone, which Mark. Ooh. I don't know if you know this, but you have a, they're going no huddle, so you got to talk pretty quick here. Do the Eagles score a touchdown, and if so, how? Run, pass. Do you have a receiver you think they might throw it to? Feel free to make a prediction. Oh, there's a that's a young Mark Wahlberg. Right? That's uh, that's pre-departed right there. I mean, what year is that, Mark? Is that that fat head of uh, yours? That might be like '98. That might be like '98. Ooh. I think no. I think they're going to settle for a field goal. They're going to okay. settle for a field okay. goal. They're not getting seven. Here. All right. All right. Let's do that. A little empty right here. Motion, motion, running back, back. Play action. So they, they, they fake the wide receiver screen, try to throw what we call the sucker route. No bite. Chiefs no bite. played it well. You'll, you'll see it kind of down here at the bottom right here, E. They're, yeah, they're trying to throw it. this, pretending the screen. They're hoping the corner and the safety Run with the cornerback, right? That's what they want, and that tight end's running wide open. We call it sucker. No bite right there. Probably a good throw away. That was a all pressure right. right there, Pay. That was an all-out, uh, you know, all-out blitz right there. Here it is. Here's your second and ten. Well, they did it on first and ten, so second and ten. Wouldn't be surprised. It's not. It's oh, not man. corners over, so it's not. Well, I don't think it is because it's not corners okay. over. They're going back to zone. Oh, good run. Uh oh, Mark's in trouble. Mark's in trouble with the field goal prediction. Ooh. Mark, you stay give with me it? a chance to audible here. You want to call Omaha? You want to audible here? You going with the field goal? No, no, I'm sticking with the initial prediction. Field goal. <laughs> Watch Kelsey here, Eli. Travis gets a lot of uh, credit. His brother is the best pulling center in the league. You see him pull out there and get on that safety? That is not easy for a large man to get out there. That shows a lot of athleticism right there. Uh Uh-oh, Mark, I think you're in trouble. Touchdown. Oh, I think you didn't want to make it on the board. I had a feeling you did not want to get on the board, and that's why you made that prediction. (laughs) No, 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 I'm I'm still, I'm I'm going Philly this game, but I just didn't feel like I, a lot of time. All right, we'll we'll give you another chance. We'll give you another chance. I think they were going to get in. Just, uh, Eli, I think it was meant to go inside. I think Swift just bounced it to the outside. A lot of guys in there, a lot of bodies. Nobody kind of kept contained. He just popped it to the outside right there. Good drive there. Good answer right there by the Eagles. I feel like the Eagles, when they get in the red zone, especially like inside the six, seven yard line, they're just going to run the ball because they're, they're not even actually oh. trying to score. They're just trying to get to the one yard line because from there they can do the tush push. And it's a guaranteed touchdown. So good job running the ball in right there. Stay with us, Mark. Welcome back. Tie ball game. Mark, I'm happy to have an actor on the show tonight because this morning Eli and I were having a debate with our producers about if it's cool to quote actors' lines to them when you meet them. Eli and I are certain that actors love this. Do they? (laughs) It depends on the line. And it depends on the actor. For sure. I... I met the cast of Hoosiers this past weekend, one of the great thrills of my life, and I went up to each of them and quoted lines. I think they liked it, right? I mean, look, that is, that is Ollie right here. I said, growing them kind of small down on the farm. I said, Strap, God wants you on the floor. Raid, five passes. Buddy, it was Dentine. Jimmy Chitwood, run the picket fence. They loved it. Eli thinks I annoyed them. 
What do you think, Mark? Well, I tell you what, they probably didn't mind, but if it was Gene Hackman, he'd probably give you a little <laughs> slappy slap. <laughs> You're saying Norman Dale wouldn't have I'm liked just that? Saying. My yeah, team's on the floor. Nah, My Gene. team's on the floor. You like it when they don't, don't call you by Gene. your name, they call you by the, the, the character name? No. You know what? I always get confused with other people, and I never correct anybody. I just say thank you. I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. See, that was good. Like when, you know, a former president quoted that line, that was, that was pretty good. And that was a good delivery, by the way. Thank you. That don't, was don't actually very him. good. Don't, Mark, don't compliment him. It's, it doesn't, doesn't do us any good. He's pretty right, good. I mean, he's here. in, I don't know if he's in as many commercials as you, but he's pretty darn good. Oh, again, there's two compliments. There's two compliments in 10 seconds. What are we doing here? <laughs> hey, what's this, Mark? All right, welcome back. Hey, Mark, you became something of a modeling icon back in the 90s when your famous Calvin Klein ad debuted. And I'm going to show you the ad when we have a second, along with another photo from the 1990s. Now, Mark, that is Peyton there on the right when he was at Tennessee. As an expert in the industry, can you explain why Peyton's modeling career never took off like yours? I think the photo was self-explanatory, but, you know, he's, uh, he's done quite well with his football career, his commentary, and also his commercial career. I mean, he's a wonderful actor. You know, I, mean, Peyton, I, think, I think that's got to be padding. That's got to be padding under there, too. I think he was just putting that on. Can't drink that much I mean, beer in college. Most people, like, when they wear the shoulder pad picture, they're, they're shirtless. I mean, like this guy. They're shirtless underneath the pads. Yeah. Who wears, like, a long sleeve <laughs> triple X t-shirt under the, under the pads like that? I mean, look at this guy. There we go. There we That's go. why you take the shirt off. Let's see. Oh, That's yeah. why you take oh. the shirt off. Oh. Good tackle. Good tackle by your Eagles right there, Mark. Mahomes had room. <laughs> What's the penalty here, E? Uh, I can't see it. Looks, looks like holding, maybe. Yeah, looks, it's in the backfield. Looks like holding. Fuck, holding. All right, Mark, I'm going to give you another Fuck chance to die. take a shot at Peyton here. You're not really getting the, the feel of the show. We make fun of Peyton. We don't compliment him. But a few <laughs> weeks ago, uh, our friend and former Manning cast host, Will Farrell was on, and, and he quoted that you are the fastest Ooh. eater that he's ever seen. And I'd like to show you a clip of another speed eater where we have a second. This, that's Peyton trying to wolf down food during breaks on the Manning cast. Mark, as an accomplished speed eater, how do you feel about Peyton's technique? Uh, you know, I think he should take his time. I think he could find himself, you know, uh, getting choked there. You take your time eating, but he seemed to be eating pretty healthy. I saw some lettuce in there hanging out of his mouth, so that was... <laughs> Thank you. That was good. Thank you. Thank All right. That's got a lot of coins. Mark. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, man. We're going to let on. you go. Thank you, man. Happy really Thanksgiving. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving. It was a pleasure. He didn't, didn't make fun of you at all, Peyton. Disappointed.